Dabs are an extremely potent method of smoking that I don't even mess with or really understand. Huh? You need this little thingy-mabobber, this doohickey, a tiny ivory ball that spins around, and a whole blowtorch. I tried to watch this tutorial to understand how it worked, but I ended up more confused than I came in. So I'm not gonna try and understand how this high-level winter hold Skyrim sorcery works. That's for the high elves to know. The only thing I know is you use a blowtorch on THC oil, and that's crazy to me. So don't look to me for information i never made it out of pre-calculus i just tell the funny stories so a few years ago i found this rando at school because my little buddy roman has a way of locating strangers and instantly befriending them we could call this dude uh let's see uh lois ruler of the high elves so roman comes up to me and he's like yo i met this dude named lois in my class you want to come over to his house with me and i had never gone over to someone's house before meeting them so i thought yeah that'd be funny i'm down so after school we meet up at lois's house house and enter this nice massive home after we came through the door and met him he mentioned that tonight was going to be an epic no parents are home we can do anything we want type of deal so we popped off and he led us into his bedroom as soon as we entered his room it reeks and there's garbage everywhere bro's room was completely different from the rest of the house he had clothes all over the ground in probably like food crumbs in his bed sheets but the most bizarre thing he had was an open bag of coffee beans lying on the ground Around under his desk. I asked him, bro, why do you have an entire whole thing of coffee beans in your bedroom? And he explained to me how when his parents make him go to bed at night, he likes to secretly stay up and game. But when he gets too tired, he swallows the beans whole with some water because he doesn't know how to use a coffee machine. And that was the first red flag that we were in the presence of an actual sociopath. And then he wasted no time to instantly pull out the entire dab rig. So you guys ever smoked dabs? And to be honest, neither of us really even knew what dabs were at this point but we didn't say all that we were just like nah and then this kid proceeded to pull out one of those wax weed pens and a syringe he opened up the pen extracting out the wax with the syringe and squirting it into the dab machine and i feel like there's no way this can be good for you you're definitely not supposed to use pen wax for dabs i'm sure there's some chemicals in there that would make you grow a third arm and immediately see demons all around you but this kid just goes straight for it he was clearly a pro at this and then he hands it over to the two of us like it's just implied that this is normal and we'd smoke this dude's mulch weed either way we did do it because we succumbed to the peer pressure that accompanied that silence but the thing about dabs is that they hit extremely hard so as we smoked this me and roman ended up getting way higher than we anticipated way faster than we had ever been at this point without even a word spoken as if this was just an average day for lois he started queuing up legal of legends on his laptop that was the second red flag that we got from this kid league of legends has like 40 minute long games and i wasn't about to watch this kid that i don't even know play a game i hardly know for 40 minutes while high off my first dab hit but then he has the audacity to ask the two of us to get him a glass of water since he was getting into a game and to this day i literally cannot wrap my head around the situation that we had gotten ourselves into we go to this random kid's house we don't even know smoke his suspense suspicious weed and then he ignores us and the fact that he's so casual about the whole situation makes me think that he's done this to other victims and every time his parents go out he just picks a new kid from school to do his bidding so me and roman go down to this dude's really nice kitchen and start eating all of his food while plotting and praying on his downfall in one hand we had a really cool house to stay in and we could just eat all of their expensive snacks with no real repercussions on the other we'd have to spend the night with this strange elf person that kind of seems like he's using us in the end we decided to troop it out for the night because to be honest if we were to leave we probably couldn't find our way home in the current state we were in we brought up this dude's little yy drinky in the sippy cup and tried to make some kind of conversation with him just to see if he was going to do anything else but play league but the way he was glued to this game we kind of realized that this was all he was going to do so we just walked out of the room and started exploring and pillaging all around this dude's massive house i mean it's not very often that you get to go through a stranger's house with no supervision and off a dab hit and let me tell you this exploration felt otherworldly because of it the house could have felt way bigger than it was because we were high but going through the hallways the rooms just felt endless the amount of bedrooms were ungodly in this house and it took all of me and roman's collective willpower to not steal their belongings it was like getting into the loot vault in fortnite 
delight in resisting the urge to take a golden scar. We eventually found what seemed like a family computer room, so we decided to set up camp there. We migrated back to the kitchen to get our yummy snacks and came back with a massive load of epic foods. We kind of just played random games on this dude's computer for a few hours, and the whole time this kid did not come looking for us. We set an hourly alarm to routinely check on the kid just to see what was going on with him, but he was literally just playing league all night. Multiple hours passed of this, and it got to the point where we entered ungodly hours of the night, and we just wanted to go to bed. But this dude was completely unwavering in the face of the tiredness. He was gaming all night. This went on for so long, we just started to theorize this kid forgot we were in his house. But we didn't want to go to bed because it felt weird to just sleep in a stranger's bed. So we conducted a plan to sneak out of the dude's house undetected. We called our friend Adam to pick us up a few blocks down from the house. And on our way out, we stole a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos and tactically shut the front door behind us very sneakily and quietly. We got out of the house and the next day at school, the kid didn't even mention anything or talk to us. And it was almost like he didn't even know the whole thing happened. Ever since then, I haven't smoked dabs because it was a weird experience. But anyways, subscribe.